Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and welcome to your free class all about the color menu available in Squarespace 7.1. In this class, we're going to take a look at creating your color palette, and I'll show you how to assign unique colors inside of your 10 color theme options. I'll also share some pro tips on pairing your color themes so you can create a website that really pops. Oh, and I'll make sure that you know how to change a color theme for a specific page section because that's pretty important information. You ready to dive in? Let's do this. So here we are inside my Squarespace demo site, and what we're going to do is start with our color palettes. Now there are two ways to reach your color menu. The first one is by selecting design on the left hand side here, and then selecting site styles. This will open up the site styles menu on the far right hand side, and you can click into colors. Now there's one other way to get there that I'll show you. We'll go ahead and select done. From any page on your website, hop into edit mode and you see this little paintbrush icon up here? That will open up that exact same menu, your site styles menu. And then you can select colors, your second option. The first part of our colors menu is the color palette. And this is one of my favorite features of Squarespace 7.1. You'll see in all of these previews of the themes down here, these five colors are being used in every single color theme. If we scroll down, I have examples of each color theme on our site, so we can see how all of those colors relate to each other when each color theme is used on this specific page. So I'll scroll back up here to the top, and let's go ahead and edit this palette so you can see what happens when we change one of these colors. Selecting Edit Palette, we'll start with this purple right here in the middle. It says Bright, that's our bright color. Let's go ahead and change this to one of my favorite shades of teal. I just highlighted over the number and typed in the color code or the hex color code that I wanted to use and check it out. That color has now changed and let's scroll down. All of the content that was that purple before has now been changed to that bright teal. It updates all of the color themes that have that particular color palette assigned to it. Now underneath here we have a bunch of presets. If you don't know what colors you want to start with, you can click into any of these presets and once again it's updating the palette. So that's gonna update all of the content on the site to match the new palette colors. Now there is a way to change this, we will get into that, but let's check out our other two options here. If you don't have a hex color code you want to enter or an HSL code, you can also upload an image, just drag and drop an image there and use the color picker, or you can start with one main color right in the middle and Squarespace will generate the monochrome, complementary, and analogous options for that color. So again, you can just click a preset that you wanna start with here and it will update the palette and all of the colors assigned in the color themes to that palette will automatically update here so all the content on your site will match. Now, let's say you love this color palette, you're ready to rock, but you want a few custom colors, we can do that too. I'm gonna go ahead and click this arrow to go back to our main colors menu and let's customize a theme. This first one is lightest one. You'll see how we have these little pop-ups here. These are telling us what color theme that page section is assigned to to help us keep track. So if you've got a lot of content on your site and you can't remember what color theme you assigned it, don't worry, it's gonna tell you. So uh, let's go ahead and start with bright two. I'm gonna click this edit icon next to bright two. And now we're gonna see a bunch of different options. All of these circles are colors assigned in that color theme. Let's go ahead and just start with the section background here. If I click on this circle, it's going to show me my color palette. So inside of Bright 2, if I don't want the background to be purple, I'd rather have it be that lighter gray, I can select the light color from my color palette and it will update just the section background for just things assigned Bright 2. We can also go to the darkest color we have there and just the section titled Bright 2 and anything assigned the Bright 2 color palette will have its background updated to match that color. Now let's say you don't want it to be the color palette. Let's say you want it to have a completely different background color. We can do that too. Clicking on this custom option, you can drag this around to anywhere across this color scale here and just pick a color that you wanna go with or you can highlight those numbers with your cursor and type in your own hex color code. Going back to that shade of teal that I enjoy there and just this section background for bright two is going to be changed to something that isn't even on my color palette. Pretty cool, right? Now be wary of changing too many of these to custom colors because if you do need to update your color palette later, it won't update anything you've assigned a custom color to. That will stay a custom color. However, if you select something from your palette and later on you decide to change this bright purple to a different shade, you can do that in the palette and will update anything assigned to that color in the palette. 
Let me show you what that means. It sounds kind of complicated. I'd like to show you a real example here. So we're gonna hop out of that bright color theme, go back to editing our palette, and let's change this purple to a light green instead, to more of a peach color instead. There we go. Now, if we scroll up, you'll see anything that was assigned to that palette has now been changed, but the one element that we changed manually to our custom color, it wasn't found anywhere on the palette, so changing the palette color isn't going to update something we assigned a custom color to. Now, I'll show you that other menu one more time. This is our main palette here. We'll navigate out of there, and we'll hop into a different color theme. Let's go for lightest one. This is the one at the very top of my page here. Let's go ahead and change the heading to that palette color that we just chose. There we go, and you'll see the heading one or the extra large heading here in the lightest color theme has changed, but none of the other sections have. They're all the same way that they had before, even down to bright two. So it's super fun. You can customize these to select a color from the palette that you've already created or enter a custom color for absolutely anything that you wanna change. Now definitely explore this list because it is a long list. There are all kinds of things in here. Things like updating the post title text for a blog, or updating a card image type subtitle color. You've got all kinds of different options here. And again, anything can be completely customizable. Just select that little circle and pick something from your palette or hop into custom and so type in your own color code or pick one from all of the options here. Those are your advanced options. One last time, I promise, here inside our color theme, just click this edit icon and you'll see all of those. I should mention too at the very top here, we can toggle into a different color theme from this menu. If you wanna hop into darkest one, for example, click on that and you'll see all the color options. Again, click on any circle and customize the heck out of it. Cool, so let's talk about changing the color themes on our site. I'm gonna go ahead and hop over here to select save on the top left-hand side. Our color theme will be saved and let's change up some of the color themes inside the page here. So hopping into edit mode, I can click this icon for any section on my site. Let's scroll down a little bit. Let's go for this one right here. I can click this icon, select colors, and now I can assign it any color theme and all of the content in the section will be updated to match the color theme that I've already assigned in my site styles menu. Now one last time, that's this icon right here for any section. Let's hop up to this one, click on that icon, navigate to colors, and you can assign it any color theme you want and it will update all the content to match the colors you assigned in your site styles menu. Very important, scrolling up here to the very top, for your website header, if you select edit site header and scroll down to colors, your third option here, I currently have this set to transparent. If I have any image as the background for my top section, it will show up behind the header of my site. This also means the header will use the color theme of the first section. If I wanna change that, I can toggle transparent off and select any color theme so that the header of my website will keep these colors on every single page. That means it'll have a solid background color and these colors will be maintained on every single page on my website. Transparent means it will adopt the colors of the first section. Toggle that off and you can select a color theme to apply it to every page on your website. I'll show you how I got there one more time. We're in edit mode on the page hover over the website header, select edit site header, and navigate into colors. You can toggle on transparent, and it will adopt the colors of the first section. It'll use the color theme of the first section, or toggle that off and assign it its own color theme so it will use that color theme across every page on your website. I'll go ahead and toggle this back on, and we'll click into here and select done, and we'll be good to go. Now, one last thing I wanted to mention were some of my pro tips for combining color themes on a page. You have 10 color themes to choose from. These are a lot of different color themes, but one of the fun ways that I've seen people use this to design things is to pair these color themes. And let me show you an example. We'll hop back into edit mode and scrolling up here, you can see I have lightest one and lightest two. Let's say I actually want to have a dark button and a peach colored button that show up very similarly. If I go ahead and delete this text block here, and I'll go ahead and make this a small height and pull that button up to the top, I can make this a small height and pull it down to the bottom. And if we select save to someone who visits it, this website, it looks like this is all part of the same section. So you see how pairing color themes can actually help you be a little bit more creative in your website design. 
If you utilize the same background colors, you can get really creative with button colors and with text colors and create some combinations that look like they're a part of the same section, but they really aren't. So again, you have 10 color themes to choose from. I personally use two to three main color themes and then use the additional ones as extras to create fun effects like that. So I can have two different button colors that look like they're a part of the same section or two different types of text colors, all kinds of fun options there. So definitely consider pairing your color themes on a page so you can get really creative. And there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me here inside the square. I hope you learned something awesome in this free training. Be sure to check out the other videos available in the Squarespace 7.1 training series. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.